Elden Ring is sexist trash. True. Here we go. Elden Ring rightfully won Game of the Year, as we all knew it would. And of course, there were lots of people disgruntled by that. Winner is Elden Ring. Oh, I thought that was Quantum. That's the thing. That's the only guy. You know, this is a funny thing about it is Mischief is the same guy. The same fucking guy that Quantum tried to DMCA and, and get a takedown for making that first video about his Elden Ring review. It's the same dude. Wow. Bruh, it's rigged. It's fucking rigged. Boo. 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 But I'm frankly Whatever. not here to discuss those people. Because the debate between if God of War Ragnarok deserved a win over Elder Ring just isn't interesting in my eyes. Since although it's a great game, it obviously isn't quite on par. So instead, in the- It's just, it's hard to say, like, I mean, whenever you have a game like Elden Ring versus God of War, they're just so different, it's hard to really say which is the best game. In my opinion, I think that, like, Game of the Year is always going to be, to a certain degree, a popularity contest. Because, like, for example, there have been a lot of good games that came out this year. So it's like, how do you determine, like, what, what is, like, really the, the metric that you determine Game of the Year on? And it's just like, you have to go with a gut feeling, I think. And I, I think Elden Ring was Game of the Year, but I never played God of War. The spirit of Christmas joy, I decided to rip apart Polygon's god awful and downright ironically sexist article claiming Elden Ring is sexist. Betrays no, the you did not hear me weakness. incorrectly. Someone genuinely attempted to claim the game was sexist over Melania, the game's most popular boss fight, claiming, and I quote, Elden Ring's Melania embodies from software's problems with women. This I is somebody who I think maybe they're like low on ad revenue. And so they're like, okay, you know what? I I'm going to go ahead and put an opinion out there that's like so stupid. It'll get everybody talking about it. And I'll just like, I won't read my Twitter mentions for a month, but at least I can pay rent. Y y you know, like they're just like somebody, some guy just like thought like, bro, I'm just going to write this shit out. Like make some, make some bullshit out. And that's it. Yeah. Intentional contrarian. I think it's beyond safe to say, that simply is not true. And within the first paragraph, they are claiming that instead of becoming an uncontested favorite, she frustrated fans and revealed the limitations of From Software's imagination. You yeah, I mean, because she's a... <laughs> I mean, I, I think this guy just doesn't like waterfowl dance. That's probably what happened, is he went in there and he tried to beat this boss and she fucking just blundered the shit out of him. And, uh, you know, did some fucking, like, pureed his ass, and he's done. He went and wrote this article. No, I think it's beyond safe to say that simply is not true. The frustration they're referring to was not one of anger at the fucking sexism of the character. It was people enjoying how difficult the boss was. I don't know who on earth this person has spoken to, but the general reception of Melina- So this, this guy went and he said, like, people that were mad that the boss was hard- what they were really mad about is that it was sexist. Okay. Yeah, that's that makes sense. I mean, if your brain is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. Is that it was a fantastic boss fight, which instantly became a fan favorite. There is a reason as to why you can find clips of people fighting five Melanias at once have gone viral. People- I don't even really think the Melania fight is that great. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really think it's that great. I think that it, it's besides waterfowl dance. It's a relatively easy fight. It, it's defined by one gimmick. I, I, I don't even know if I would put it in like my top three Elden Ring fights. Maybe top five. Probably top ten. Wouldn't be talking about the character this far out from launch in an overwhelmingly positive light if she wasn't a hit. And I do love how they don't include any examples of fans getting angry over supposed sexism here because it's obvious they don't exist. Like Lady Mario from Bloodborne, it's a two-phase fight of fast, lethal strikes as Melina heals from damage she's dealt to the player. Now, admittedly, this part of the article doesn't seem too bad. I mean, you can make an argument, maybe like Lady Maria, uh, you know, it's like, there's like a little bit of sexism there because like Garman like made a doll of her. And it's like, if a guy made a doll of a girl that he liked a lot 
in real life. Like, everybody would pretty much assume that was weird. But German was weird, too, so it's like it kind of makes sense. So you scroll down just a tiny bit and notice this incredibly questionable remark. Uh -huh. There's a deep humor in the idea of a woman who's very attacked still held from you to empower herself. What are you oh, so like women are vampires. Yeah, I get that. This is the entire angle the article takes throughout it, seemingly pushing their own sexist ideologies onto a game that they clearly have no correlation to in order to get offended. They are That's going crazy. out of their way to make the most ludicrous conclusions from nothing at all. Nobody's going wow. to be playing Elden Ring, have their health stolen by Melina, and think to themselves, <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> If you are playing Elder Ring True. and come to the conclusion it's calling women bad, you are the sexist one. Not George R. R. Martin slash From Software. It is you who is sexist. Oh Arguably, my God. the funniest part of this section within the article is how they consistently prove how unsexist the character of Melania is, but then only call it sexist when they're tacking on their own sexist beliefs. At least in my head, a woman in a game being instantly imposing with her presence quite scary, her movements honed as well as being Practice. So it's basically it, it's like one of those things where it's like you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't So like if you make her not imposing and like she's like really sloppy It's like oh wow you're showing another woman who can't fight and like you, you know like can't engage in combat It's like haven't you seen like these three women in history that were you know really powerful warriors and then if you have her who's like really, really powerful and she's, you know, a trained warrior, somehow this is another fucking element of sexism. It's like you can't win with these people. It's either you're lying or they're right. Along with a calm and unemotional voice goes against- I feel like this is the, the level of, like, you have to get down to like a delusional level of symbolism with this that people that watch QAnon do. It's like this is this is on the same level as like believing that Donald Trump is going to arrest Biden in two weeks. It, it's just so dumb. Every single possible sexist trope or stereotype out oh, there. Melania exemplifies the way FromSoft writes women in its games. Whether bosses or NPCs you meet in the wild, these women have a shared condition. They exist in mm -hmm. tragically declined worlds, sharing a specific brokenness, disfigurement, abandonment, and loss. They are afflicted by gender and the cure for well, when. Well, I mean, what about uh, what about the big titty girl? I, I mean, like. I, I think there I think she's pretty much fine like she's c pretty much a good character are obstacles yeah. instead of mutely helpful is for the player to enact sufficient violence. It is a particular kind of idealized femininity, as fantastical as the foreboding castles and giant trees, demure, quiet, void of needs or motivations, an echoed presence of dolls, mothers, and even help meets who guides the player along. Their emotions are muted in their more docile counterparts, Holy before shit. erupting into a shrieking, horrifying hysteria when encountered in combat. I mean pretty much every single one of those attributes is shared across both the male and female characters as well as every single type is. of character you would meet in a FromSoft game and it's because as we are all well it's like I think that these websites like really need to con they need to curtail the amount of like people that just upload stupid shit on their behalf I really think it's a problem because it, it really makes these companies look bad whenever you have people like this that are just uploading content like this and then people go back and they look at that. They're like, oh, well, Kotaku isn't relevant or it's not to be trusted because like people publish things like this on the website. I think it does damage their reputation. Where those accumulate to give the entire theme of practically every FromSoft game released in the Souls like genre. Just look at Bloodborne, Dark Souls, plus Demon Souls. They all exist inside decrepit worlds void of emotion, yeah, of and so they mimic the world around them so they can survive in them. Melania isn't the way she is because she's a woman and needs to be oppressed. She's that way because it's the only possible way for her to survive in such a world. Hence, the fact every single other character in the universe tends to share similar attributes. 
news. Milena is made up of the same stuff and isn't unanimously hated either. There is passion for a giant red-haired woman in armor. Still, she is a contentious True. character subject to social media posts, memes, and arguments. It's obvious that there is a contingent of the audience antagonized by her presence as both a boss, even if optional, and a figure in the game's story. So because she's a boss and because people don't want to kill her, it's sexism because she's a woman and people want to kill a woman. Yeah, that makes sense. Sure. Okay. Sure. Of course, there is always going to be a Absolutely. minute fraction of any fan base. Of yeah, I, I feel like this does. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. This reads like an AI, like it, like an AI generated article with like um, you know, video games, Elden Ring, social justice warrior, delusional, misogyny, Melania, and you just fucking put that into like an auto generator, and you get this. Yeah, it's like an AI wrote this. Which is sexist or really any isms out there it's how exactly. the internet currently is however I, f I find this stuff to be like really kind of damaging because like there is actual sexism that happens in games and it happens pretty regularly uh, especially whenever it's a community thing and i think that articles like this it it's like a boy who cried wolf situation is like people just get uh they get kind of like trained or, or they get conditioned into just every time they hear oh it's sexism oh it's like racism it's sexism oh this is sexist like people hear that and then they read it and they're like no it's not like what the fuck and then people do that enough times and then the whole idea of it is now questionable now it, it the entire idea of something being sexist or not they automatically start with a bias that it's not true so I, I think this stuff is very damaging. People that just throw around words like this and um, it just makes the entire platform look bad. However, that has literally nothing to fucking do with From Software or the character itself. You're always going to have people like yourself either unintentionally make subconscious sexist remarks, along with those who are making open sexist remarks. But as I said a second ago, what exactly does that have to do with the game's writing? George R.R. R. Martin and the developers would have never considered listening to those players since they aren't the primary consumer. The idea that because of a subset of players being sexist, it means the developers are as well, is fueled by nothing other than pure idiocy. The yeah, broader gaming a... community usually reacts harshly towards female characters, which Re reacts harshly towards female characters, which makes the Soulsborne community embrace. That is crazy. That that the gaming community reacts harshly towards female characters. What a moron! Like, why would anybody think that? That's crazy. I, I think the only time that people react negatively towards female characters is whenever a gender of a character is changed for some sort of like inclusion or some diversity counter or something like that. Nobody gives a shit if like if they released a, a, a Tomb Raider and it's a guy instead of Laura Croft, I don't think people would like that either. Which makes the Soulsborne community's embrace of them feel positive on the surface, when that affection feels based on that empty, emotionless state, or reduces them to infantilized Larry waifus, Croft. you realize that hostility yeah. and that fondness spring from the same deep sexist roots. Twins in So affection feels based on an empty, emotionless state, reduces them to infantilized waifus. So what is this guy, like, attracted to Melania or something like that? And Wow, what is this? This is so weird. Oh my god. I think that you can make an argument like you could have a conversation about how like the, the waifu meta c c could be sexual or could be sexist. But there's also uh, girls that do that for male characters also. It's just that because gaming is like generally a male dominated space, there's going to be more waifus than husbandos like just because that's the norm. That's what most people do. Is there a husband a meadow? I mean, like, there are a few of them in, in Genshin and a few of these other games, but there's not as many Dream Daddy simulators as there are, um, I, I'm trying to think, like, it, what's, like, one of the really, sh Nikkei's, right? There, there's way more Nikkei's than Dream Daddy simulators. There you go. To Dwayne. So let me get this straight. You can't like the character because that makes you sexist, but at the same time, you can't dislike the character because that's also sexist. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't take it anymore. I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man.
Let's say even if they're trying to claim you like the character because it's a woman with stereotypical masculine mm -hmm. stoicism, that is a blatantly sexist comment in and of itself. To say yep. all non-stereotypically female characters are sexist is sexist. Why is it bad that a character does not conform to stereotypical feminine traits? Why is it okay for every other form of character in the souls like genre to share these exact same traits but not the female characters? Why do you only have a problem when it's the female characters who are decreed? Tripid, twisted and emotionless, but not everyone else. Two can play this line of argument and you'll easily lose every single time because your own arguments derive from clear sexist but You will never win against these people because so I hope Mischief understands this. You'll never win because you're using logic against them. These people don't use logic. So if you try to use logic to discredit their argument, this is not going to work. You're not going to move them away from a position with logic that they didn't get there with logic in the first place. You can't reason a person out of a position that they didn't reason themselves into. Whether conscious or not, the whole baseline you are using to claim Elden Ring is sexist is sexist itself. The idea that if a woman does not conform to hyper feminine traits and falls more into the category of stereotypical male traits is a bad thing is sexist. Do you have a problem with the world building of Elden Ring being quote unquote sexist, or do you actually take issue with the fact she's not conforming to sexist stereotypes of a woman? Milena's boss fight is punishingly difficult, and the audience's hostile and competitive attitudes about it are more often often steeped in gender toxicity. Numerous Reddit posts, YouTube videos, and tweets talk about players' failures or successes while littered with sexist slurs. People also fell back into the usual community discourse about which methods of beating her were more valid and which ones made you a pussy. And oh my god. Holy shit. Like, there's no way this person... This can't be real? Yeah, this is like the most chronically online thing that I've ever heard. And it's like, it, you y'all see what I'm saying though? About how like, if you have people like this on your website that are just like publishing stuff like this, it makes your website look like a clown show. Like they really should try to rein some of this dumb stuff in. Because I think it makes them look bad every time. Quantum level takes. Yeah, exactly. And success over like I, I would say that um <laughs> let me think i i would say like at least quantum it, at least he knew that he didn't play the game like he didn't pretend to have any knowledge like this person clearly doesn't know anything about the game right so like it's easy for them to talk about it but at least quantum said yeah i didn't play the game i have no idea what i'm talking about at least he, at least at least quantum was obvious uh, honest uh, took on a weird masculinized chest beating at times. These reactions are distasteful, but not surprising. Oh yeah, that's, by the way, that's the same with every, like, that was the same with every, every From Software, like, hard boss fight. It's like, oh, it's not a, it's not a legitimate kill unless you do X, Y, or Z. You're probably wondering what horrible slurs people were using. Well, none bitch, of the examples probably. linked to use slurs. Not a single one. They merely said the word bitch. I don't know if this oh is just my in Britain, God. but here, bitch is not considered a slur. It's no, merely it's a not. curse word. And regardless, most of what they linked were not even using it in a manner of insulting the character How or a manner that could like be real deemed man. derogatory. Not outside of the singular Reddit post shown, which had a whopping. I just, I, it's always amazing to me whenever you have like these terminally online losers that want to tone police a bunch of normal people that are having a f a, 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 a completely harmless conversation because you don't agree with the words they're using it's just so ridiculous seven up votes man i'm sure the guy getting a whole seven up votes on reddit is who from software primarily listens to when making a video game yeah. but again what the fuck does this have to do with from software and the character because i am not seeing a correlation between random people on the internet saying stuff and george rr R. martin's work and i'm really not surprised that a journalist of this caliber is taking people calling each other pussies seriously and as some form of toxicity grow up you cry my baby bitch. These narrative True. choices swiftly undercut her initially pro What's the scariest thing a team of designers could dream up? A distant warrior woman who doesn't care about them. 
<laughs> Holy fuck. Provocative design, cheapening their impact. Oh my god. What's the scariest thing a team of designers could dream up? A distance warrior woman who doesn't care about them, slowly succumbing to a rot that infected her from birth. While wow. Melina's character writing had grown slightly beyond the way women were written in earlier FromSoft games, her arc is still confined by the same laws. What could have been a place where mechanical and narrative evolution backslides into being merely a means to an end within a video game? Women continue to populate the path as either passive help meets or predictable obstacles. Calls, which the fan base is all too happy to step over. Now hear me out. That's ex that is just so crazy. Exactly like every other character and it has nothing to do with yeah. gender at all. I know. Shocking. Revolutionary. I don't know how I've managed to respond to this in a serious manner for so long. There's honestly just nothing intelligent said in this entire article. Not even once. According to them, treating all characters equally outside of the main character is sexist. You heard it here first, folks. Equality is sexist. Now frankly, there's nothing left to talk about in the rest of the article, which means this is the end of the video, so with all that being said, please do not forget to do all the things YouTubers love to beg you to do, aka check out the Twitter, the Discord, as well as like, comment, and subscribe, so I'll see you all in the next video. Oh my god. Hey, what up boys? I don't understand where these kinds of people come from. I really don't. It's always such a shock to me to see these people exist. The person who's probably needed to pay rent? Yeah, maybe that's it. I just think that, like, Kotaku should probably do a better job, like, curating better articles on their website that don't make them look like a joke website. I, I, I do think this is... It, it's like you're not doing anybody favors by, like, allowing them to publish things that are just completely baseless and senseless on your website. It just makes you look, it's on Polygon. Well, it's, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like Polygon, Kotaku, IGN, like any of them are the same thing. Like, I think the point stands regardless. Nobody takes these websites seriously and a lot of their commentary seriously, even whenever it's right, because there are articles like this to get published and it devalues the entire thing in the, in the minds of a lot of people, uh, which and I think that makes sense, right? It's like if you read an article and it seems ridiculous, are you going to think that the place that published that article is ridiculous or not well yeah you probably are it's just common sense so yeah i mean i thought it was a meme site no it wasn't bro like it wasn't at all we're living through the dumbest cultural revolution of all time the problem is that you have people that want to be freedom fighters except for most of the really important battles for freedom have already been won so they're over there jousting at windmills and you know fighting scarecrows and inventing things to get mad about because their own life has no meaning like you know like there's no civil war to fight slavery's fucking gone everybody can vote now are there inequalities in the world absolutely there are but it is not even remotely close to the way that it was before. I think people are looking for a purpose and they try to find it in any way they can, even if it means inventing things that aren't real. It's sad. It really is. Manufactured outrage? Yeah. Kotaku's war is trying to stay relevant. Well, this wasn't even Kotaku. Like, I mean, I, I don't really care about that. I, I'm just saying that, like, how many of you guys don't take gaming like mainstream gaming media seriously like kotaku ign polygon like any of these websites how many of you guys like you see it you don't take it seriously me right so that's what i'm saying is like obviously that's not good for the websites like it's not good for the websites that like the organic audience the the endemic audience doesn't take them seriously that's so bad so you've got to fix that i don't see how it's i i don't see how anybody would agree that's a good thing I think that's awful. Okay, I, I saw this too. I was gonna watch it real quick and uh, and see this. I, I I don't even really know what happened with this, and I kind of wanted to watch it and see what this even is. They ruined their rep. Yeah, exactly.